I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a food supply chain. So I don't forget what I'm doing. I'm going to write food supply chain. And for today we're going to use lettuce. So up here I draw little teeny tiny circles because these are my seeds. I'm going to label everything when we get done. Then I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line. On top of the first straight line I go curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, second line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, connect. That is my lettuce. Once my lettuce is grown, I'm going to harvest it. So I put a dot and I put curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, connect, come up on the left, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Okay, so here are my seeds. Here's my lettuce growing and this is my harvest. That means that I've planted and they've grown and now they're ready to go draw a straight line and a triangle and now we're going to draw a skinny rectangle, a big straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, straight line out, straight line down, straight line connect. One baby circle and a dot, another baby circle and a dot, and another baby circle and a dot. I'm going to draw a little straight line right here, connect, and back here on the back I'm just going to draw a curve line, curve line connect, and inside I just put curve line, curve lines. Okay, this is the truck that takes the harvested lettuce down, straight line, triangle at the end, for it to be boxed. So we're going to put a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Inside there's those curve lines again. Now I put a little straight line over, straight line over, straight line down, put a little straight line out, straight line over, connect. This is my box of lettuce that's ready now to go on the big truck. Straight line, triangle, and now we're going to draw a big rectangle, come to the front, little straight line, straight line down, straight line out, straight line down, straight line connect. We're going to draw one, two baby circles with a dot, dot, one, two baby circles, dot, dot. And this is my big semi truck this holding all the boxes of lettuce. I'm just going to put a little curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line on my truck, line underneath. Now we take the lettuce to the big semi truck and the big semi truck now takes it over to a big distribution refrigerator. So we're going to put one box two boxes, three boxes, come up to the top one, put a little diagonal, straight line, diagonal down, straight line, straight line, connect, and on these we're just going to put the L for lettuce because this is a big refrigerator that holds the lettuce 
until it's ready to be picked up. Now, this is refridge. I'm going to break it. Refrigerator, because that's a long word to fit. Now, once my lettuce has been refrigerated, I draw a curved line, triangle, and now I draw a rectangle. And at the front, I draw a little straight line, straight line, straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. This is a smaller truck, so one baby circle dot, another baby circle dot, and this is Andy's Produce. So that's the name of the produce company that's now going to take all the lettuce, even though it should be in a box. I'm putting it up here so we remember what we're doing. And Andy's Produce sold all of the lettuce, curve line, triangle, to the big supermarket. So we're going to draw a big rectangle. Okay. This is the back end. So we'll draw a skinny rectangle and then one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines connect and down here we'll put straight line, straight line, straight line connect and I'm going to put my little curved lines again I'll explain that in a minute and this is the supermarket some of you go to Walmart, some of you go to Amazon, some of you go to Reps now once it comes to the supermarket straight line, triangle you can go in, or your mom can go in, or somebody can go in and buy the lettuce for a big curve line, curve line connect. And now we're just going to do curve line, curve line, curve lines connect. Come inside, do a wavy, wavy line. And we're going to write, mmm, yummy salad. Okay? There's your bowl of salad. Now, some people call this seed to plate. That means you go all the way from the seed all the way up to your bowl of salad. Seed to plate. But the journey it takes to get to that plate, okay, that's called a food supply chain. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, now I used lettuce for my uh, food, but you can use pretty much any vegetable goes through this process. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yellow green and I'm going to color all of my lettuce because that is really the most important part is all this lettuce. Now, this is an open container. You would never do that on a truck, but because I wanted you to know that it is filled with lettuce, I went ahead and made it an open container. Over here on my semi truck, I'm going to put these lettuce heads also. Same thing with um, Andy's truck. You wouldn't have open produce like this. But I want to make sure you understand that all of these transportation places are filled with lettuce. Now, I'm going to color my boxes by the big refrigerator. I'm going to color these green too so you know that that is also lettuce. I come over to my supermarket. Again, you would never have open produce like this. You would have it inside the store and this is green too. So if you follow the green, you're following your food chain, food supply chain, okay? Now once you've done that, the other color that is important are all these triangles because these are your arrows and they show direction. So we're going to do all of these triangles so you can see how the lettuce makes it sway around the food supply chain. Okay? Now, the rest of this 
you can pretty much color any colors you want. I'll show you what I did. You make your own choices. So I think I made my refrigerator and my supermarket red violet. Just because I never used red violet sounded like a good thing to do. And I used orange on my salad bowl on my big semi truck. Because I always like to make things kind of colorful. What else did I use? I used yellow for the bottom of my bowl. I put yellow wheels on everything just because I wanted to. I made my lettuce box yellow. More wheels, I made these yellow. I did my supermarket doors yellow and my little truck yellow. Okay, then I took blue and I made my farmer truck blue and then I came down and I made Andy's produce blue. And you never want to color it so dark you can't see what you wrote. And I did my little box and opening here blue. But really, the rest of this, other than the lettuce, you can color any colors you want. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my food supply chain, seed to plate, all colored in. You can do this for all kinds of different products. I was thinking about doing dairy and cows and milk and ice cream. But first, good nutrition. Let's. Okay, bye-bye.